Hi guys, welcome to day three of our seven day core and abs challenge. Today we're working on all the things tabletop. You will just need one medium band. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. You can just go without. You'll need a good mood and you'll need me to guide you through the workout. Let's go straight into it. I want you guys to put the band around your wrist and arrive into your tabletop. You have your knees underneath your hips. You have your wrist underneath the shoulders. Right arm is rotating outward. Left arm is rotating outward. So your triceps are pointing to the back. Option one, keep your knees down. Option two, curl your 10 toes, bring your knees slowly off the ground and work from here. I will leave that up to you. We're gonna go through tiny, tiny tailbone tucks or baby crunches as I call them within that tabletop hold, okay? So we're gonna exhale, lift our knees off. We're gonna go on the next exhale, tailbone tuck under. Think of your belly button pulling up into your ribs. Ribs are reaching down into your belly button so they're meeting each other in the middle and then bring yourself back to neutral neutral does not mean an arch okay so don't let that tailbone flip up and your low back compress so smaller movement is much better here let's go guys we have 10 on the axial lift and next axial crunch this is 10 nine you can start with your knees off the floor and then bring them down seven, six, five, small movement, four, three, two, last one, one, knees come down, band comes off, left leg to right arm extend, watch that you're not sinking into your hip to reach out, that's the most common mistake I see with my clients, Stay right in the center, and as you extend, let's say left arm and right arm, don't sit into that right hip. Stay as static, as still as you possibly can. We have 10 for one side, 10 for another. Let's start with our left leg going out, right arm going out, and then we'll switch together. Ready? Take an inhale, exhale, reach. Inhale, center, exhale, reach. Catch yourself sinking into that right hip. Reset, try again. Three. When your leg is extending out, four. Avoid arching. Think of your tailbone tucking under. We go five. Think of a little baby sitting in your low back. And six. Don't drop the baby. Seven. And eight. Two more, nine. Stay tall, last one. Good, take an inhale, switching right away. Now avoid sinking into your left hip. Ready guys? Exhale, reach, 10. Nine. Eight. Don't go for height here, seven. When it comes to reaching that leg and the arm out, six, focus on your center, five, focus on the breathing, four, keep going, three, you can slow down and do less reps with more quality, two, last one, good, stay in your tabletop, take an inhale. On the exhale, extend your left leg out again and the right arm. You're gonna lift them just a tiny bit off the ground. From here, you're gonna exhale, give me that crunch. So once again, think pubic bone and belly button reaching up into the ribs. Ribs are reaching down towards the pubic bone. You crunch for a moment, you release back to neutral. Neutral is not a dump, so avoid arching. If you have a mirror, use your mirror. Okay, look at your form as you're going through the exercise. Let's go guys, take an inhale, left leg extend, right arm extend, lift them slightly off the floor, keep them extended, and we go crunching one. <sighs> neutral, and two, <sighs> and neutral. As you crunch, your leg and the arm will travel down. That's okay, let it happen. Four, <sighs> keep going, five. <sighs> leg and arm reach out, six. <sighs> And we go seven. Stay tall on that right hip. Eight. Two more. Nine. Last one. Ten. 
Good, bring it in. Notice also how my neck is not going into extension flexion. I'm keeping it neutral, looking down. We don't wanna load this part of the body. We wanna keep focusing on our center. Let's switch, guys. Take an inhale, extend your right arm, sorry, right leg and the left arm out. Lift them off, and on your next exhale, we go crunching. And neutral, give me two. Neutral, and three. Keep going, four. Push the ground away, five. Stay tall in that right arm, six. Keep going, seven. And eight. Two more, nine. Last one. Good, and in. Again, we're, when you're doing this movement, watch that it's not a cat and cow, where it's an arch and flexion, it's flexion to neutral, flexion to neutral. Sometimes it takes time to really master that technique. That's okay, give yourself time. Maybe come back to this workout and at some point, it's gonna work for you. Band goes back around our wrists. Wrists go back um, underneath our shoulders. You have your tabletop one more time. And then we'll give our wrists a moment of break, I promise. Curl your 10 toes, bring your knees slightly off the ground. On your next exhale, you're gonna step your left foot and your right hand forward. And then you're gonna walk them back. Same thing, same side. So left leg, right arm, walk, walk back. Keep going, three, four, five. Don't go up and down with your bum, stay low, six seven, eight, nine, ten. Knees down, take a moment. I'm dying right with you guys. In the best way, inhale. Exhale, knees come off. Let's go left hand, right leg. Back, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whew. Good job, guys. Band comes off. We come up <clears throat> onto our knees, onto our shins. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Your hip bones start on top of your kneecaps. Your feet are hip width apart maybe slightly closer together. Maybe that perfect rectangle shape is there. I'll leave that up to you. If your knees hate this, roll them out a couple of times and give them that extra padding they crave. Tailbone, tuck under, so don't start in an arch position. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Pull up, find engagement in the front body. Reach your arms out. Take an exhale, reach back. Take an inhale, come up. When you reach back, don't arch. We're staying as that one long line, okay? Reaching diagonally, coming back to neutral. Let's go, give me 10. And center, and two. And center, keep going, three. And four. Small movement, you will feel your quads here, five. The goal though, our priority is to make sure we're not losing that shortened, contracted, engaged out front body. We're not lengthening it out. Keep going, four more, one, and two, two more, three, last one. Good, grab your band one more time. Put it around your right leg, we're almost done. Hold on to that band with your right hand, you can, uh, Put that band around your hand a couple of times just to have more resistance. Knees are hip width apart, straight upper body, check they're not arching. We're gonna take a lateral bend to the right. We're gonna exhale, pull the band, shorten our left oblique. Lengthen it and shorten it. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. 
switch right away. Band goes around your left leg. Hold on to it. Knees are hip width apart. Neutral front body, neutral back body. And let's go down up as one, two, three, four, short control movement, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good, our last movement of the day, put the band out of the way, go back onto your knees. You're gonna bring your hands at the back of your skull. You're gonna lean back just a tiny bit, don't go so far that you start turning it into a bridge. Keep your front body and the back body long, tailbone is slightly tucked under, lean back. You're gonna go exhale, upper crunch. <sighs> Inhale, neutral, exhale, upper crunch. <sighs> And neutral. If it's too much for your knees or quads, come up straighter, work from here. Just make sure it's not your whole body leaning down. So the range of this movement is short, it's small. Okay, lean back. Let's go 10 and 9 and 8 and 7. Keep going. 6 and 5 and 4 and three, exhale down, inhale up, two, last one, and done, that's it guys, before you know it, it's over, thank you for moving with me, I'll see you tomorrow for day four of our seven day abs and core challenge, thank you guys.